you like to swing on a star? Carry home some moonbeams, home in a jar. Or be better, better off than you are. Yes, you'll be swinging from a star. You will be swinging from a star. Folks, for years, people have been fascinated with the stars. Uh, they've written songs about them, poetry, novels, made movies. Well, I'll bet there isn't a single person in this audience tonight that hasn't at some time or other looked up at a star and made a wish or two. Huh? You know, I can remember my grandpa back in Clarinda, Iowa. Folks used to call him uh, Popcorn Bob. He used to sell the best popcorn in seven counties, I'll tell you. Grandpa and I, we'd sit out under those stars, and he'd, he'd tell me things, things that I still remember, even today. There they are. I told you it'd be a good night for watching the stars. Yeah, you were right, Grandpa. There must be a jillion of them. Why are there so many? <laughs> well, I guess because there's so many people. What? Well, everybody has to have his own special star. You see, ever since God put him up there, people have been watching him, giving him names, making wishes on him. Why, a man's got to have his own star to wish on. Gee, can I have my own special star? Why, sure you can. It's about time you got your own. Now just pick one out and start wishing. When a star is born, they possess a gift or two. One of them is this. They have the
sure they can. Sometimes it seems like the stars are the only hope there is. And so you wish real hard and dead. I feel sorry for people who don't live in Corinda. Oh, why is that? Because they don't have our special stars to wish on. Oh, 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 but they do, Glenn. People all over the world can wish on a star. Why, do you remember the story I read you of the Arabian Nights where Aladdin rescues the princess from the wicked wazir? <laughs> well, it was because she made a wish on her own star. Wow. to the great wazir. It is I, your supreme ruler. Am I not magnificent? <laughs> of course I am. All of my subjects obey me absolutely because they fear me. And fear, I have found, is a powerful taskmaster. Don't you think? Don't you think? Ah, but I am as subtle as the snake, but as crafty as the fox, and as duplicitious as the shifting sands of the desert. What I do is art, and my creative genius is unparalleled. I'm so right-brained. And I do enjoy my work. <laughs> Bring the captive princess to me! My beautiful slaves, <laughs> dance for me.
<laughs> Delightful! <laughs> and a fitting tribute to me. <laughs> and now, your highness, <laughs> I'm waiting. You are the most vile, contemptible, and despicable man I have ever known. Why, thank you. <laughs> I have worked very hard to earn such praise. <laughs> Come to me! Never! I am the great wazir, and in my palace, my wishes are quickly met. As the star of the east is my witness, I would die a thousand deaths before consenting to your wishes. <laughs> a thousand deaths. <laughs> I have granted much worse. <laughs> Take her to the tower. Ah, princesses nowadays, they can be so huffy. Ah. Master, I, I don't think she likes you very much. Oh, really? She'll reconsider, I think, when she sees how gracious a host I can be. <laughs> you see, gentlemen, in the fine arts of subjugation and oppression, one must never forget subtlety, always subtlety. Anyone can be violent and crude, <laughs> but subtlety, it's put me where I am. Oh, yes. <laughs> We caught the seven hundred men and hung them in a prison pen. Who said, suspending them by the fuzz, was I, was here, I was, was he, was here, he was. When the keeper of the royal zoo was short, a cockatoo or two, who sealed him in a pot of glue, was I, was here, I was, was he, <laughs> was here, he was. Learning what he wants to know. Yes, delicate <laughs> and to the point. They always seem to remember when I begin to dismember them arm by arm and ear by ear and joint by joint. When the court musician lost his grasp and let his lips begin to rasp, who had him bitten by an ass? Was I, was here, was he, was here, was I, was here, was he, was here. <laughs> I was, it was me, the time we caught the man who said I wasn't nice, joy, oh joy, that was the time, I confiscated his mother and then did something or other involving her, dissolving in a vat <laughs> of rhyme. When at last in man and eat and deft I packed and had she turned and clapped Until no one but me is left I want it clear He wants it clear I was, was here Is, was here With every single charming and disarming thing <laughs> oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Omar, we must be swift. Ah, but it is I who is the swiftest horseman in all of Arabia. And tonight, my dear, you will see it a is I. A three-legged goat, great with child, is more swift than you. Come, Aladdin must be told. That wretched Wazir, he will pay for his treachery. But, but how will we rescue the princess? Omar, Aladdin will find a way, for his heart belongs to the princess. This is true. His loyalty and love is unequaled in all of Arabia. I know. Such longing, such tenderness, such passion. You drink too much fermented camel's milk. Come, we are nearly there. Look, it's Aladdin. Aladdin! That evil wazir has taken the princess captive and holds her in his tower. What shall we do? Make up your mind, my lord and master. I am, I am. Well, do it faster. Let's be gone. In wasting time, we court disaster. Pick up that sword and strap it on. Babe blows her kiss, chills your heart, takes your hand. Babe feels like this, play your part, take your stand. Before you go, you grab your horse, you grab your gear, your moment's now, your moment here, it's time for high, for high, for high adventure. You're up and riding, saber flashing. Your banner high, your molars gnashing. You feel so dashing. It's high, high, high adventure. We're going to give them all a thrashing. There's high adventure in the air. There's high adventure in the air, boys. <laughs> Someone's out there, boys. Someone back. her scheme, but for Aladdin, Omar, and Kasim, and lo, we three will go, until it's through, until an answer comes Aladdin and his friends off on a high, a high, a high adventure, across
across the desert will go flying, completely unafraid of dying. Dying? Oh, Mars, stop crying. This is hard, hard, hard adventure. There's no ignoring or denying. There's high adventure in here. Special star? Oh, I sure do. I chose my star long before you were born. Which one is it? Oh, it's up there right now, shining down on both of us. And my boy, she's always been the most beautiful, bright star you've ever seen. I wish I was Grandpa, young. Grandpa, when you wished upon your star, did your wish come true? Oh, yes. My star gave me you. And when I get lonelier, my star fills my heart with wonderful memories. Yeah, it was a wonderful time, full of sharing and laughing and love. I never 
never thought then that I would feel such loneliness. But when I look up into the stars, I feel your grandma standing right next to me. so many years, but my memory of your grandma is as bright as, well, it's as bright as that star right up there. Did people have the stars to wish on back in the old days? Oh, yes, indeed. Why, Christopher Columbus himself used the stars no, Grandpa, when... No, Grandpa, I mean way back, like when you were born. <laughs> oh, you mean way back. Yeah, what was it like then? <laughs> well, I'm not so sure I can remember back that far. But I'll try. Many years ago, the Earth was still kind of new, and there were hot, fiery volcanoes across the land, spewing out molten lava. Wow! And, and there was lush green vegetation and plenty of food for those great lumbering beasts called... I know, dinosaurs. I know, dinosaurs. Yes. And later, there was the saber-toothed tiger and the woolly mammoth, and then came early man. Gee, Grandpa, you sure have a good memory. Yep. Ever since prehistoric man first gazed into the heavens, he's been fascinated with the stars and wondering what they mean. Oh yes, even back then, those folks were always searching for the stars.
where the stars of tomorrow are discovered tonight. Please give a big knee and you all welcome to the Rock Ants. show host personality, Cliff Sliprock. Thank you. I'm glad I made it here tonight. I tell you, traffic over at La Brea, it was terrible. Slow as tar. This evening's talent search is brought to you by Diners Club. When it's time for you to dine, pick up a Diners Club. These well-balanced, durable clubs are good for every occasion. Hunting, fighting, and even that a special engagement. So get the best club made, Diners Club, advertised on finer petroglyphs everywhere. Well, it looks like our judges are ready, so let's search for the stars. Our first contestant hails from the Chiquita Lava Beds, and she's a hot, hot, hot. A serious student of the primal arts at Boulder College, she was voted most likely to evolve. Let's bring on those volcano hips and lava lips, Miss Carbon Miranda! Oh, tickle, 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 he's a cuckoo in my clock. And when he says cuckoo, he means it's time to woo. It's tickle time for all the lovers in the block. Why I got the heavy date, I did it, did that eight. So tickle, tickle, tell me, is it getting late? If I'm on time, coo coo, but if I'm late, woo woo, see when my heart has gone to play, that's what you wait. Cha cha cha! That's some fruit basket, huh? Looks like our own little Krakatoa is getting a little anxious. Let's hope it settles down a bit. 
Our next contestants come from the Canadian Glacial Moraine. And these two sweethearts are going to sing a love song that will melt your hearts. And hopefully calm down little Krakatoa as well. Hold on to your prehistoric hearts. Let's welcome Nell Stone Eddy and Jeanette McRocknold. Oh, when I'm calling you. you prehistoric primate. Oh, look, he's going ape over me. <laughs> At least he's better looking than your last boyfriend. Huh. Well, he certainly dances better than you. <laughs> oh, where'd you get that luscious fur coat? <laughs> well, it looks like our little love duo has become a love trio. <laughs> what a great surprise ending. Was the ape a part of your act? No. Wait. Will it help our chances to win? Couldn't hurt. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye! Thank you. Oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> Looks like Krakatoa says it's time for our next contestant. He rode in from way out west, near the shores of Lake Bonneville, by a little creek bed called the Grand Canyon Gully. Here he is riding his trusty woolly mammoth, Gene Rocktree! <laughs> Oh, champion. Well, howdy. Now, come on, folks. I know you got more oomph in you than that. I said howdy. Howdy. That's more like it. Well, I'm Ronnie right Plies to sing a song for you now. What's the matter, you shaggy old flea bag? You mind your manners. I'm back in the saddle again. Out where the apes turn to men. Where the brontosaurus roam in my prehistoric home. Saddle again. Well, it's been right nice being here with you folks tonight. Have a good evening and uh, happy trails. There he goes, folks, riding off into the sunset on the fastest mammoth in the West. Poetry in motion, folks. Poetry in motion. Wait a minute. Cowboys and poetry. <laughs> nah, never in a million years. <laughs> Moving right on with our next contestant. This little darling has been singing and dancing since she was six years old. Now at the ripe old age of seven, she will perform a tribal ritual song and dance in the new Neanderthal performance style. Let's welcome little Miss Shirley Template. <laughs>
Uh, could you get the ape out of here? Our next contestant is a young hunter-gatherer who calls the steamy Dixie Swamps his home. In fact, his folks told him, never take his home for granite. <laughs> I didn't write him, folks. So here he is to sing about his home swamp, Mr. Allosaurus Jolson. Swampy, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swampy. I give the world to see the folks back home in SWAMP. Why they're my mammon, waiting for me, praying for me down by the Swampy. The folks up north will see me no more when I get to that Swampy shore. Folks, I'm a missing ya, my little swampy. Your protozoans, your trilobites are swimming in the slime. It brings a tear to my eye. But let me tell you something, folks. I'm a coming back. I ain't extinct yet. You hear me? The folks up north will see me no more. Well, Thanks, Al. Thanks for that touching tribute to your home. I'm sorry, but that part about the trilobites kind of got to me. <laughs> well, moving right on with our last contest. Uh, if we all want to evolve, we better move right on with our last contestant's number. Patty, Maxine, and Laverne. Originally cave dwellers until they were driven out by an infestation of jitterbugs. Now all three are residents of Boogie Woogie Bog. Let's bring on three bright, beautiful stars, the Androx Sisters. When the fiery sun is ascending in the sky, we're gonna have some fun as the energy grows higher for the moon that is done. Come sparks are gonna fly, there'll be a hot time to go down tonight. Oh, when the fiery sun is ascending in the sky, we're gonna have some fun as the energy grows higher for the moon that is done. Come sparks are gonna fly, there'll be a hot time to go down tonight. One, should we appease the god of the volcano by gathering all our riches and possessions and throwing them into the volcano? 
would that make it go away? No, but if you give me all your riches, I'll go away. If that volcano doesn't blow our ratings, he will. Well, folks, it looks like we'll need to do the sacred dancing and chanting stuff to appease the god of the volcano, right? No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Look at all this superstitious nonsense. Get with the reality. What we need is a human sacrifice. You, me, I go out to the audience and get us a woman that's uh, well, you know what kind of one to get. Huh? You know, a woman that's a, well, a... In this audience? You'd be lucky. <laughs> Is there a woman out there who's a... who's from Virginia?
when I went off to war, I missed your grandma so much. <laughs> oh, we'd write letters to each other, but sometimes my heart would just ache for my sweetheart. Gee, Grandpa, what did you do? Well, I'd find our special star, and I always knew that your grandma would be looking at it too. And then I'd talk to her like she was right here beside me. Oh, yes, that star saved many a lonely night. Thank you. You know, I still have a few of those letters that my grandparents wrote to each other. And they serve to remind me that my grandpa and a lot of others who willingly served in the military gave their best efforts, and in some cases, their lives, so that our wishes and our dreams really could come true. You know, I know that there are some here tonight who have served in the cause of freedom. And I think it's about time that we found out who you are. So we're going to do that right now. First of all, those who have served in the Army, I'd like to see who you are. Stand up and be recognized while we sing your song. Remain standing, would you? Oh, look over at them. There hill, they are. Over dale, we will hit the dusty trail. Yes.
Thank you. Thank you so much. And now, the Navy. Where are you, Navy? Navy There's one. Away. Yes. 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 Navy and now the proud, the few, the Marines. Where are you, Marines? There's one. There's one. And now our flyboys. Where are your air forces? Stand up. Oh, look at them. Yes. Yes. so much. Let's give them all a big round of applause. The Merchant Marines, the Red Cross, all those who served, we thank you. You know, it's important for us to have folks like you amongst us, not only to honor our presence, but to remind us. You know, 1940 is a, a tentative year right now. Things are not good overseas. And it's good to know that we have men and women like you who are they're ready to defend the cause of freedom. So thank you for being here tonight. And let us not forget those who did not return.
Another star. It's gone. Oh, no, no, super down. It's still there. It's just behind that cloud. It will always be there for you, son. You will never leave me, will you, Grandpa? Well, someday maybe I'll be gone. I'll always be up there watching you. What would I ever do without you, Grandpa? Well, you just keep following that star, my boy. Just keep following that star. Ladies and gents, keep that applause going for the incomparable Sunburst dancers and singers. Aren't they something? And how about a hand for the boys in the band? Weren't they great? Thank you. Thank you so much. That was warm and wonderful. We appreciate that response. I, uh, I know we felt something wonderful tonight. I hope you did too. Take it home with you. Chew on it a while, will you? That's some good feelings there. Well, we're going to take a short break. Please don't you go away. We've got uh, some of your favorite tunes coming up. Thank you. Grab 
your coat. Don't forget your hat. Don't leave your worries. Leave them on the doorstep. Bye, sweet. Just direct your feet to the sun, sun side of the street. Hop, pop, a little bat, pitter pat. You know that happy too. It's my step. Bye, sweet. If you dig that beat on the sun, sun side of the street, used to walk in the shade with my boots on parade. What a drag, old oh man. Get stuck in the shade, get hip. Don't be afraid. Move it on over, feel yourself in the cover. Hold me in for a cent, who cares? Rich as Rockefeller, can't be beat. Gold dust round my feet on the sun, sun side of the street. Rockefeller, 